right, so we just got back from a week on Oahu. And we've been multiple times for work, for vacation. We lived there for two years, but this was our first time going with a child. And so we wanted to find the best family-friendly hotel on Oahu for our trip because, let's face it, hotels on Oahu are not cheap. No. They're nothing in Hawaii is cheap. So we went to Waikiki, Koalina, and the North Shore to check out hotels. Yeah, and we stayed at a few. We scoped out some for the next time, and we're sharing our seven best family-friendly resorts that we found on the island that we absolutely love and can't wait to go back and visit. I'm Jordan. I'm Erica. We're from the Hawaii Vacation Guide and we give you tours of the seven best hotels on Oahu for families. Yep, and give you kind of an inside peek at what it's like to stay there so you can make the best decision for yourself. Okay, so one of our favorite family-friendly resorts in Waikiki, and actually just our favorite resort in Waikiki, is the Royal Hawaiian Hotel. So it's not exactly a family-friendly resort. What makes this place special is, oh, come your boo-boos. What makes this place so special is that it is a wonderful resort for the parents and for the kids. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> So it's a beautiful hotel. The grounds are stunning. You'll love staying here. It's generally a bit quieter because it's not what you would typically think of for a kid's hotel, right? So there's beautiful lawns, but they're blocked off so kids can't run on them. But what makes this place unique is that next door you have the Sheridan, which is a very family-friendly hotel. It has great swimming pools, a huge slide, and a kid's club. And staying here, you can use the amenities at the Sheraton. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. You get a place parents will love to stay and the amenities that kids love. That said, it's probably one of the most expensive hotels in Waikiki. So if you're staying here, it's a big holiday for you. All right, so one thing to note about the Royal Hawaiian is that it does have its own separate pool but it's smaller and quieter. If you have kids, you're probably going to head to the shared pool that's with the Sheraton. Uh, it's right in between the two, and you'll see footage of that when we go through our review of the Sheraton Hotel next. But it's great. Water slides, two water slides, a little one and a big one, splash pad. Kids love it. How about you like it? You like this place? Well, we've been for you. Okay, so the one thing about this not quite being like a family resort is you might feel like you're shushing your kids a little bit because it's so quiet. It's not a typical kids resort. So, pros and cons, but I think the pros outweigh the cons here. Good morning. Good morning. And a pro of staying in Waikiki is that all of the hotels are within three to four blocks of the beach. So we are staying in the Royal Hawaiian Hotel right now. We are on the beach, which is so nice. We're waking up, we can just head right out there. But no matter where you stay, you're always gonna be within a few blocks of the beach. So it makes early mornings getting down there really nice, easy, and quick.
Waikiki. So another family friendly resort in Waikiki is the Sheraton Waikiki. So we mentioned the Royal Hawaiian Hotel, which is our favorite family friendly hotel in this area. But the Sheraton is right next door and they share a pool. So the Sheraton is larger than the Royal at 1500 rooms, but it's still smaller than the Hilton Hawaiian Village. It's right in the heart of Waikiki. Um, the rooms are a bit more economical than the ones at the Royal Hawaiian and you still have this amazing pool that you share with Royal Hawaiian guests as well as a kids club. So it's pretty much a perfect place for kids. Do you want to go down the slide with Mama? Okay, here we are at the Hilton Hawaiian Village. And I would argue that this is probably one of the most, the most kid-friendly place to stay on Oahu. So this is the largest Hilton, and it's one of the largest hotels in the world. It has almost 3,400 rooms, um, and it's spread over 22 acres, and Hilton proclaims that this is the only resort in Waikiki. And I have to agree, this is a true resort. Um, it has a lagoon that is great for kids um, and beginning swimmers and it has stand-up paddle boards and it has kayaks and on Friday nights it has fireworks which we were surprised by last night. Um, it is a place that, like I said, kids will love. Parents may love because their kids love, but it can be a little bit of an over overwhelming place. 3,400 rooms, all full of children. It's a lot to take in, but it is definitely a very fun spot. It's at the end of Waikiki, so it is a bit of a walk to get right into the center of things, but for some people that's a plus, for others that's a negative. So, um, we are not staying here this time, but we are really enjoying having Henry run around the sprawling lawns and swimming in the lagoon. I think our favorite part of the Hilton Hawaiian Village is the lagoon. So. It is a man-made lagoon and it's very shallow. There's equipment that you can rent like these um, little boats that you can paddle around in or stand up paddle boards. It's very shallow. There's no waves. It's not open to the ocean. It's just, it's a really easy way for young swimmers or people who aren't as confident to get in the water. It's also open to the public. So even if you're not staying at the Hilton, Maybe take a walk down and enjoy a couple hours there. Alright, one of the reasons we recommend the Royal Hawaiian, the Sheraton, and Hilton Hawaiian Village when you're staying in Waikiki with your family is the beach. I mean, we are right in front of the Royal Hawaiian, which is next door to the Sheraton. And yes, it's crowded, but it's Waikiki. So you have a great lively beach. You have waves that just are very mild and perfect for young swimmers and you're right in the center of everything. So it's you're not having to kind of walk blocks and blocks to get to the beach with your family. You can hop right out, enjoy an hour or two of fun in the sun and go off and do something else. The Hilton is Henry's favorite. What's your favorite? The Royal Hawaiian. That's nice. It's classic Hawaiian. Classic Waikiki, oh, I should say. I feel like it combines the best of everything. Definitely. But these are a lot of fun. These, <laughs> these are a lot. family-friendly resorts in Koalina and on the island. 
is Disney's Avalon Resort. So it is the newest resort in Koalina. It was built in 2009 and it has a mix of guest rooms and villas, suites, so you can kind of pick what you want. One of the nice things, so it's not Disneyland, so just don't expect that, but you will find Disney characters roaming around, so you can actually dial a number and figure out where the Disney characters are in the resort. They'll also come to breakfast. The Aulani also has a kids club for kids age 3 to 12, but if you want them to do like premium fun activities outdoors, you do have to pay an extra $75. The basic kids club is included in your resort fee. The Aulani also has a pretty epic pool area um, with a lazy river and water slides, and so that will keep your kids entertained for quite some time. So it also has a premium place on Lagoon Number no. 1, which is a beautiful, stunning location to just kind of chill out with your family. Okay, so one thing that people generally ask about Koalina is how deep are the lagoons? So, I'm 5'6", I'm standing on my tiptoes, and I'm, you know, a third of the way out. So, they get maybe eight feet deep, I would guess. Um, also, not great snorkeling. Let me dunk you underwater, and you'll see that there's just not a whole lot of visibility. Plus, there's no reef here for you know, fish to feed off of. So you're not gonna see anything if you're snorkeling here. Not great. All right, so one of the hotels that almost didn't make our list was the Four Seasons on Oahu. And to be honest, we just thought it would naturally be unfriendly because it's so luxurious. It's really nice. It's the nicest hotel in Colina. We were totally wrong. It is not only beautiful, but it is very kid friendly. So it has, it's smaller than all the other resorts in Colina. It has 371 rooms, which sounds like a lot, but it it's quiet and calm and... Serene. It's really nice. Beautiful views right on Lagoon Juan, big pools, really nice. Yeah, they have a kids club that is just, I would like to go to it, right? There's um, stargazing, they make s'mores, that's for the evening kids club. They also have a bunch of outdoor activities for the daytime kids club. That's all included also, by the way. Really so, nice. I mean, the Four Seasons is the most expensive resort in Koalina, so you wanna make sure you use the amenities that you're paying for, so if you go with kids, awesome have them have fun in the kids club um, also the pool isn't necessarily as fun I would say as the other resorts there's no water slide there big waterfalls or anything so like that. it's located on Lagoon one it shares the lagoon with the Disney Aulani hotel which is right next door um, these are right across the street from Colina station which is really convenient because you can just pop over for a little shopping, um, going out to different restaurants, ice cream. It's just a very convenient location within the resort. This is the only hotel that has a tennis court too. So if you are a tennis buff or want to play on your vacation, this is the spot for you to stay. Ah! <laughs> oh, you ready to go swimming, big guy? It's good for the wind, isn't it? Another kid-friendly Koalina resort, the Marriott Koalina Beach Club. So this is a hotel where you can also get one room, two room suites and villas. Um, it has a pretty epic pool, which kids absolutely love. There is no kids club, so that's different from the Alulani, but it still has a lot of amenities that I think kids would really enjoy. Alright, 
one thing to note about the Marriott is that it is located on Lagoon 3. So that's going to be a bit of a walk from Coalina Station, which is kind of the hub of activity for Coalina. That's where you have a lot of restaurants. That's where you have ice cream, you have coffee shops, you have shopping there. Um, so you'll need to take the shuttle or rent a bike to get there. Another thing, the Lagoon, much quieter than Lagoon 1 that has the Four Seasons and the Aulani. However, the pool gets pretty packed. So just know that even though the lagoon is quieter, the pool is still going to be tough to get a seat in during the high months. So Coalina is so great for family friendly resort because there's activities for the whole family to go to. You got golf on a world class golf course, they have LPGA tournament here every year. You have the lagoons for the beach and a little bit of snorkeling, you got stand up paddle boards. There's a marine on the Eva side which is perfect for sunset cruises and going out and exploring. Outside of Colina, you have Waianae Coast which has world class scuba diving also. You can see shipwrecks, you can even see, you can even see a wrecked plane. What I love about Colina are these awesome walking paths that take you around all four of the lagoons and back through the resort. The total round trip is around five kilometers or approximately three miles, so it's quite a trek, but there are also shuttles to take you back and forth. Two more things. We have to leave we have to leave Colina a little early. Yeah. Just just to get home for Henry's bedtime. So we're missing the spectacular sunset that happens at Kulina. It's one of the few places on Oahu where you can see the green flash when the sun goes down. It's true, it's true, pirates say so. And number two is go to our website, thehawaiivacationguide.com slash Kulina. And we have our full guide there full of all helpful information on the restaurants, where to stay, and all the things you want to do when visiting Kulina, if this is the right place for you. It's a great spot. Really is. That's why we lived here for two years. Henry, do you like Koalina or Waikiki better? <laughs> Kiki. There you um, go, you have it. Waikiki. Waikiki wins for Henry. Maybe an exaggeration, but we've stayed at so many, and this is our most favorite experience. And it's even better now that we've brought Henry because we're enjoying it as a family too. So we're going to give you a tour, but let me give you a quick overview of Turtle Bay. So Turtle Bay has 400 rooms, has ocean villas and cottages, and it sits on over 800 acres and has over five miles of beachfront, which is insane. There's golf course, there's restaurants, and yes, they're overpriced like many resort restaurants, but there's a refrigerator in the room so you can go shop, grocery shopping and stock it, and, you know, then you won't spend $5 for a glass of milk in the cafe. So that wasn't fun. Um, this place has so many activities. It is very, very kid-friendly if you bring your kids, but it also seems to cater to couples and honeymooners alike, so, it's really just good for everyone. Plus you are in town and so close to all the activities. So we're gonna give you a tour, show you some highlights, show you a few things we don't like, and then some great things that you can find in this area. All right, this is just a basic Turtle Bay room, but it's really quite spacious. So they're gonna bring in an air mattress for Henry. He'll probably go over here somewhere. And then we have a nice balcony, which, I don't think we'll use much, but you know, maybe tomorrow or the next day it'll get nicer. <laughs> on the North Shore, it's a wonderful sunset. Everybody's here to see that sun go down. It's beautiful. Alright, 
is a little silly. I, I like Turtle Bay because this is where Forgetting Sarah Marshall was filmed, which is a great movie. I'm pretty sure that was where Russell Brand had the whole yoga studio scene in. So, anyways, this is a fun little thing about Turtle Bay. You kind of see things in the movie all over the resort. Aloha, how are you? Hoping I can impress Henry with my skills going down the water slide. Woo! <laughs> What's great about Turtle Bay is a swimming pool. Great for families. It's got a water slide. It has a one hip <laughs> deep pool. And even for adults who like to have fun. <laughs> okay, so Turtle Bay is not a new hotel, is it? No. But in 2016, it underwent a $54 million refurbishment. So it got a very nice facelift. And you can tell it feels nice. Okay, let's go. My con for saying the North Shore is the weather. We're on the windward side of the island. So it gets wet and raining. It's a jungle here, and for good reason. It's pouring rain right now. Again, bud. Or yep. hang out. Maybe there's some big waves coming in. Let's put big waves. <laughs> I taught him that. <laughs> we just discovered the general store is down below the Kula Grill, which is a great place to go for snacks and ice cream and beer and wine if you want to get a cheaper deal. This is a great free benefit of Turtle Bay, is you can rent movies, which is nice, especially when the weather's been bad, like here. So it makes Henry happy, because they give you these nice little cards, and you can just grab a DVD. And it's kind of fun, because I haven't rented a DVD since like Blockbuster went out of business. 
So it's been a while. Look <laughs> how nice this is. Boom, there we go. Is it scratched up? Nope, just little fingerprints, but remember this. Just gonna wipe it off. Alright, when's the last time you did that? Eric and I were joking, we're not big fans of this lobby. It's kind of cold, it's pretty simple. Then we heard Turtle Bay is playing out and redoing all of this. So they're gonna get rid of this really, this little lounge right here and bar, open it up so you can really get beautiful views of the beach and the sunrise. So that's where the sunrise is, right out front, Turtle Bay. So I hope this was helpful in helping you pick the best family-friendly resort for your family on your trip to Oahu. So we just had a great time on Oahu and we have developed an uh, itinerary, a five-day Oahu itinerary that has been toddler tested. So head to the hawaiivacationguide.com slash Oahu itinerary to check out our free five-day itinerary. Yep, no email necessary, just go ahead and grab it. Thanks for watching and we hope you come back, like, subscribe, and come back for our next video next Friday. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Yeah, buddy. All right, let's go. Let's go, buddy. All right, let's go. Look at that beautiful sunrise.